drifted in that car at $1,900, which is exactly 15 minutes from now. If you don't know, you better add somebody. Let's go. Let's get that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sergeant Gomer Kyle, what are you speaking about there? Jay, I don't want to be late to another event, okay? This is my cousin's wedding, and it's important that we're being there on time. You know, the Kyle family is notorious for being late. So what? So what? Jay, my family already thinks we're highfalutin. So what? <laughs> When you're late, Jay, it says that your time is more valuable than theirs. It is, so what? You know, it is always so what when it's my family, but when it's your family, hey, stop the world, you better be on time. You know, you even made me late for my cousin Leonard's funeral. But baby, you hated your cousin Leonard. That's why I wanted to be early, I wanted to get there and just sit down. Will you please relax, I'm almost ready. Unless you are Judge Judy or the Pope, you gotta do better than a row. I'm gonna wear a dress. I'm just having trouble deciding which one. No. <laughs> Jay Kyle, indecisive about what to wear? When has that ever happened before? Why did they decide to get married at night in the dark anyway? Because he's an insomniac and she's ugly. <laughs> now, would you please just go get dressed? All right, all right. Which one, the red or the black? The black. Thank you very much. I'll be wearing the red. <laughs> Why do you ask me for my opinion if you're just going to pick the other thing? Because I wanted a carefully considered opinion, Michael. You just said the first thing that popped into that little bald head of yours. Well, you know, that's because every time I say, wear that, you wear this. If I felt you actually gave it some real thought, then maybe I would listen to you for once. Fine, next time I will give it careful consideration. But you have to wear what I say you should wear. Okay, fine. Deal. Okay, not too carefully. Yes. yes. Now forget it, you lost the right to oh, it. Hey, what's going on here? Jay is in my nose and you won't give it back. That's right, because I told her if she ever messed with my CDs again, I was going to take her nose and throw it in the garbage disposal. Look. Here it goes. Hey, 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 Junior, give her her nose back. We don't have time for this. Oh, come on, Dad, it's funny. She actually thinks I got her nose. <laughs> it's not funny. You see that face? You see her smiling? She's not laughing. It's not funny. Give her her nose back. No can do. Okay, fine. Got your ears. <laughs> Come on, Dad. I'm 16. That trick doesn't work on me anymore. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You got every stupid nose back. Just give me my ears. Yeah, there's your ears. You got them on? Are they on tight? Yeah. Yeah? Let me see. Can you check them out? Let me see. Why the hell aren't you dressed? <laughs> Dad, I don't want to go. I'm always uncomfortable when all the relatives get together. And Aunt Evelyn's always squeezing my cheeks. Well, just cover up your face. Not those cheeks. <laughs> Look, Junior, we are going to this wedding, whether you like it or not. Now go upstairs and get in the shower because you smell like corn chips and ass. I do not smell like corn chips. Well, don't you look perfect. You are going to be the most beautiful flower girl at the wedding. My tight itches. As long as you keep your mouth shut. Now you sit there and don't get messed up. No, you are not going to eat chocolate pudding in that pretty dress. Please, Daddy. No, no way. Please. No. I love you, Daddy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, wait, let me put something on you first. Yeah. I want to see you try and get some pudding through that. Michael Kyle, I'm I'm busy. Now, are you selling something? Could you call back at a more convenient hour, like maybe when I'm having a heart attack and on the toilet? Huh? Hey. What? I can't use the shower because Claire won't get out the bathroom. Well, just use mine. Hello? Hello? But Mom's in there. Uh, all right, I'll be up in a second. Look, I can't talk right now. Uh, you know what? Why don't you talk to the decision-making lady of the house? <laughs> It is not Junior, it's your father, and I open the door and don't make that mistake again. <laughs> and what do you think you're wearing? The invite said sexy casual. Yeah, well, that's slutty formal, and you're not wearing it. <laughs> Get the fur ball out and change the dress and come out the bathroom because the boy got to take a shower. <laughs> you, <laughs> one more time, I'm going to choke you for real. <laughs> Get in the bathroom, pig pen. You got six minutes. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, 
baby, you look great. Thank you, you think so? Yes, it's like an angel fell from heaven and transformed itself into this perfect human being. You ready? Let's go. I'm almost done, Michael. Which pocketbook do you think I should take? Okay, you actually want my opinion? Yes, if you're actually going to give us some real thought, yes. Okay. Come on. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, right? Let me see. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, let me see. Gray one. You sure? Absolutely. And you gave it careful consideration? Jay, I did the thing. I did this. <laughs> Only other time I do this is when I'm on the toilet. Right? <laughs> change my dress. No, no, I was kidding. How would you, how would nope. you think I would pick the gray one? It don't even match your, I, I hate gray. I hate gray. <laughs> no, Michael, you can't change your mind. You can't do it over. Oh, come on, Jay. We only have four minutes left. Sure. All right, do you know what? Just put on whatever you want to wear. Just hurry up. Let's whoa, go. whoa, 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 whoa. Huh? Don't, don't, don't ever, ever, ever clap at me. Don't clap. <laughs> what do I look like, a trained poodle? Why don't you just set a hoop on fire? Is that what you want for your wife to be jumping through a flaming hoop? Only if I could hold it up to the car door. I am not one of your children, Michael. I said I was going to be ready. I will be ready. When? When I'm ready. I'll be waiting downstairs. Hello? 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 Nice work. Thank you, Daddy. I finished my pudding. Well, good for you. And I knew what you said. What, what did I say? You said, try to give me pudding through this. And I did. Ta-da! Oh, you're my husband. Come on, come on. Come on. What am I going to do? Okay, I've got to think. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. got to redesign your dress. Thank you. I can do this. I'm strong. I'm strong. I can do this. Scissors. Fingers are stuck. Oh, my God. Will you sit still? You're squirming like a little guppy. Here, a little cut. A little cut. A little tape. I am such a mess. Poopies. I'm about to see the mosquito bites. Okay. J-Lo, me, Kayla. It's so hard to please. <laughs> okay, yeah, get that. All right. Well, okay. Oh, how about this pretty, pretty dress? No. Okay, that's uh, Okay, what about this one? No. No? How about this? Goes with the skin tone and be nice, short, no? Okay, well, you're starting to sound like your mother. What do you want to wear? I don't know. I just want to look pretty. Okay, well, you know what? Then you pick something out, put it on in one minute, meet me back downstairs, okay? <laughs> All right, dressed or not, the Kyle Express is leaving this house in exactly 10 seconds. Nine seconds. Eight, All right, seven, right, six, zero. five. Stop with the counting. One, two. Where's that other one? <laughs> Katie, come on down. We'll dress you in the car. Come on. Well, come on down. Katie, what are you doing in your fairy costume? I spilled pudding on the other one. Well, who would be dumb enough to give us some chocolate pudding? <laughs> yeah, who would? I, boy, if I find out who did that. Michael, she can't go like that. Look at the, she's wearing wings. It's okay, you wear wings too. So we're all ready. Everybody ready to go, right? Yes, yes. Okay, you got the direction? Give me the directions. Oh, I knew there was something I forgot. You forgot the directions. Yes, Michael, I did. I forgot in all of your craziness, I forgot the directions. See, Daddy wants Mommy to go to the electric chair because Mommy forgot the directions. Is that a capital crime, Michael? No, it's not a capital crime. <laughs> it's the principle. That's what you do. You're navigator. I'm Captain Kirk. You're Mr. Spock. You're supposed to keep the ship on course. Actually, that was Sulu's job. 
Gonna pour a bean in my foot where no foot has been before. All right, all right, you two, just stop it. I'm going to get the directions. Will you help me, hurry, hurry? hurry. Hey, hey, with the clapping! I was just cheering. Yay, Jay's coming back soon. Hurry, Jay. Okay, guys, I want this to be a lesson to all of you. Being punctual is all about planning and preparation. Okay, you gotta anticipate the little things. All about the little things, like keys. Them is little. You see my keys? Without the keys, she's got no power, Captain. <laughs> okay, I'll be back in one minute. Just stay in the car, okay? As a matter of fact, you're in car prison. You're incarcerated. Get it? In car prison. Keys, keys. Where are my keys? Keys, there you go. What are you doing back in the house? Katie cut the cheese. <laughs> so what? It was Limburger. All right, Kate, take off the seatbelt and go on. No, no. We are too close to being on time for this to unravel. It's a conspiracy. Come on. together. What is the smell in here? <laughs> Katie pooed it. It smells more like she decomposed. <laughs> so are the women coming back? I hope so. Look, you stay here, roll these windows down, let the car air out. I'll be back in one minute. Do not move. And son, this this smell, it don't it don't bother you at all. <laughs> no. It reminds me of a simpler time. <laughs> Too late for that. Come on, let's go. But I just found that Erica's wearing the exact same dress. We'll look like dorky twins. No, no, you won't. You are so much more beautiful than she is. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, I'll just go put on this sweater. It'll just take me a second. No, it's not going to take you a second. You lied. You lied just like. Right, Her uh, brother, he a liar. <laughs> no, Michael, you've been stressing me out so badly, I almost forgot my earrings. Now, which earrings should I wear? <laughs> Lord, please guide my hand in this impossible choice. Right there. The studs? Yeah, that's what the Lord said, studs. You sure? You chose wisely. Thank you. Now all I have to do is change my shoes to match the studs. Well, just hurry up. Come on. I'd kill the five. Five. <laughs> Well, that must have been some poop. Did you blow your foot off? Who is your shoe? I have no idea. Okay, let's retrace your steps. Number one, did you go in your room? No. Okay, number two, did you go in the bathroom? Yes. Okay, number three, in the bathroom, what did you do? Number two. Number two. Number two. Okay, so the answer to number three is number two. I said number one, two. Okay, so the answer to number three is number one and number two, too. I have no idea. Neither do I. Okay, you sit here, and Daddy wants you to show me exactly what you did in that bathroom. No, no, no. no. With your feet. What'd you do with your feet? I was kicking my legs like this, right. and my shoe flew out. I think I know where that other shoe is. Come on. There you go. Good as new. Go ahead, put that on. Why not? It's clean. It's got even the blue stuff in it. Daddy! You know what? Whatever your next favorite pair of shoes on, put them on and let's go, please. Michael, we're ready! Oh, great. Now your mother's rushing me. We must really be late. Come on, Dad. You're holding us up. Yeah, Michael, we're waiting on you. Come on, boy. Come on. Okay, Jaycee, I don't... 
don't mind that. I look at it as applause for being on time, which we actually are because I built in a 10-minute cushion knowing that you guys would be late. That is very clever. Uh -huh. Where's Katie? Baby, why are you wearing your cowboy boots? She can't go to the wedding like that. Why not? She looks good, like Katie Lang. It's okay. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Everybody, out the door. No, not the kitchen. Too many distractions. Let's go out the front door. Let's go. No looking left or right, just forward movement. Let's go. Let's march, kids. March. Because if you do, I promise, I will make your life a living hell. Hey, hmm? you're off to a good start. <laughs> I married a comedian. <laughs> what are you doing in here? I got hungry, so I made a tuna milk. <laughs> a bite? Yeah, I want to bite your head off. <laughs> now put the sandwich down and get back in the car, fish breath. Dad. What? Can I talk to you? Now? Yeah. Right now, you want to have a discussion. You want to talk when we're supposed to be in a car on our way somewhere. Now is the time you want to talk to me. It's important. What is it, son? I don't like how you deal with me. What do you mean you don't like how I deal? What? You make fun of me a lot. You call me stupid and big head and stuff like that. And I try to shrug it off, and mostly I succeed, but it's humiliating. The jokes, they're supposed to be humiliated. It's just me teasing you. Dad, you said yourself that it's not funny if no one's laughing. Well, see this face? I'm not laughing. <laughs> That's the real reason I don't want to go to this wedding. There's always some point at these functions where you take out the measuring tape and compare my head to the centerpiece. <laughs> okay, fine. I won't do that joke. <laughs> it's just that it's hard enough being 16 without your dad thinking you're a dummy. I don't think you're a dummy, son. I just think sometimes you make some really dumb decisions. Well, maybe sometimes I don't make the best choices. You mean like coming in here to make a tuna melt when we're supposed to be somewhere? Yeah. Or like last month when you peed out the window because you didn't want to go to the bathroom? That wasn't my fault. I didn't know you guys were still outside. You know, we still can't grow anything in that area. Look, son, I'm going to make a deal with you. From now on, I want you to start thinking about what you do before you do it. And I, in turn, will start thinking about what I say to you before I say it. Deal? Deal. You know, I really do love you. I love you too, Dad. Come on. I get it. No, 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 no. You leave that. That's probably some salesperson. Come on, we can still make the I do. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I get hungry. Okay, I got it.